Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Don't take your eyes off the prize. Have I talked about this before? Psh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Y'all know me. I, I, stay with, I stay with being successful on these Sunday Morning uh, Simulcasts. But you know what? Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm going to tell you what. When you're trying to succeed, you're trying to get something in life. As I've constantly said, and I will constantly keep saying, I got to hammer this in people and then remind a new set of people. Success is not a straight line. Success is not a straight line. Sometimes you're doing stuff, you wonder, why am I doing this? I'm going to use myself for an example because I don't, I'm not that type of person who says do something and I haven't gone through it myself. There were times where I just wondered. <laughs> I just wondered. Now I'm at a place in life where I'm doing, I'm living my dreams. I am living my dreams every single day. But there were times I just wondered, oh man, there were times and then, you know, you had other people, they were saying, yeah, you just a dreamer. Oh, that's a good dream. And, you know, even for your loved ones be like, nah, you should be doing something else. But I stayed with it. Even sometimes I didn't even know what I would be doing or how I would get there. But I, I said, you know what? I'm going to get there, though, because I kept my eyes on the prize no matter what. Look, I'm going to tell you what. Every single person I've met and talked to, they had something. Now, some of them, it took a while to get it out of them because they were so used to taking their eyes off the prize. But everybody wants something. There's something they want to do. Every single person has a dream. There are no exceptions. Now, unfortunately, the way life can be, we can get distracted from actually pursuing that dream. And, you know, of course, even people who, you know, they genuinely love us, but they say, nah, you should be more realistic. You can't do that. And I'm just like, Psh, no, no, you got to keep going. Like when I talk with my sons, I'll say, well, what y'all really want to do? And one said, gave me something, I ain't going to say what it is. But I said, okay, well, you got to work at it. And that's all. I didn't say, oh, you can't do this or anything. I would never say that. I just say whatever you want to do, you have to work at it. That's all I say. And you got to keep your eyes on it no matter what. See, I'm going to tell you what. Even keeping your eyes on the prize, keeping focused on it, it helps get you through the bad times. It gets you through the detours. It gets you through the times that, you know, usually you're driving, but the wheels bust on the car. The engine is out. Sometimes you might have to walk it. It gets you through it. It gets you through the storms. It gets you through the bad times. It gets you through the self-doubt. It gets you through the self-doubt. I mean, that's just the reality of it. It gets you through the self-doubt. Look, you got to keep going no matter what. No matter what's happening, you got to keep going. You got to keep that goal, no matter what storms are happening. And yes, you're going to be detoured, but that's part of life. I'm going to tell you what, even in the detours, if you keep your eyes on the prize, you actually learn something. There might be, you know what, you might have a vision of a certain type of business, but in, in, in the process of working on that business, is building, building it up, you might have to work in another business or you know, company, whatever, to keep money coming in, in the house. You still got to take care of your responsibilities. But that detour actually helps you. You might get skills in one area that helps you in another area. Like every single job I've had, and, you know, always joking, said I've had a thousand jobs. You know, it wasn't that many. It was only a few hundred. But every single job I've been on, even even jobs I've been on that <laughs> – were really like a canyon away from what I've been ed actually educated to do. I actually learned something on. I learned something on gaining perspective. I gained something from the job. So, I mean, that's the thing. I learned it, and then I applied it to the journey. You know, I use the car example. Sometimes your car engine, you know, you on that journey driving, your uh, tires blow out, your engine drops out. But you know what? 
you might learn a way to fix that engine and get new tires on there, and then you can be back on the road. And then next time the engine blows out, you know how to fix the engine. Mm. Hey, you got to think like that. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes, hey, sometimes even a detour is helpful because maybe you didn't need to get into the business at that time or the goal. But then if you get into it maybe a year later, after getting through all the detours and everything, you actually come in at the right time. Now, you know, I don't usually promote a specific religious path or spiritual path on here, but, you know, when when you are ready, God, or whatever term you want to use, will open that door. And God will know when you are ready. Sometimes you might have to get ready yourself. Sometimes there's some stuff you might have to work on. You know, in the, um, in the Christian Bible, when the children of Israel will leave in Egypt, you know, they ain't just go right to Canaan. Canaan. Canaan was right there. The promised land was right there. But they had to be in the desert for several, for 40 years. Why they had to do that? They had to deal with some stuff. So I want y'all to think about that. Use that. Whether you, whether you follow that path or not, use that analogy. Sometimes you got to do some stuff to get ready. But they never kept their eyes off the prize. I want y'all to think about that. Always keep going. Like, like I said, I'm, I use myself again. I'm right here doing this podcast at a time of my choosing, at a time of my choosing, and getting some positive results from it, and that was a dream of mine. That was a dream. And trust me, I went through a lot to get to this point, but I never kept my eyes off the prize. Look, every single one of y'all, every single one of y'all can do it. It doesn't take any special talent. It doesn't take, like, you know, a bunch of money from somebody or something. No, that's not, that's, that, trust me, that's very helpful. <laughs> but, you know, it's all about your drive, your desire, how much you want it, how much you want that prize, how much you want that goal. Because even just in the process of even wanting to get there, it will help you develop the skills that you need to get there. It will give you the drive. It will get you through that storm. I want y'all to remember that. Keep your eyes on it, no matter what, no matter what. Now, some for some people, it can, they can reach that prize soon. Some, it might take a while. But you keep your eyes on the prize, you will make it. You will make it. Or as the old saying was, you know, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you're still among the stars. You want to keep going, but you want to get that prize, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm going to get back with y'all later. Keep rising and transforming. Peace.